Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Today we're diving into something that will completely change how you think about your online privacy. Every time you post a photo, check in at a location, or share a moment online, you're not just connecting with friends, you're dropping digital breadcrumbs that create a detailed map of your entire life. And there are people out there who are very, very good at following that trail. That beautiful vacation photo from Santorini, it tells strangers your house is empty. That check-in at your favorite coffee shop, you've just revealed your daily routine. The scary part isn't some Hollywood-style hacking sequence. The real danger is how simple it is to learn everything about you using completely legal, often free tools. Let me introduce you to OSINT, Open Source Intelligence. It's a fancy way of saying snooping around using publicly available information. This concept isn't new. It's been the bread and butter of intelligence agencies for decades, long before the internet existed. But then the internet happened and we decided to supercharge this intelligence framework by voluntarily uploading every detail about our lives. It's what journalists use to break stories, what corporations use for market research, and yes, what hackers use to figure out that your password is still your dog's name followed by your birth year. We've created the most comprehensive, self-updating global intelligence database in human history, and we call it social media. The most powerful tool in the OSINT arsenal is something you use every day, a search engine. But hackers use advanced search operators or Google dorking. They find things you didn't even know were public, exposed webcams, sensitive documents accidentally uploaded, or old forum posts you made in 2005. They can uncover digital skeletons you forgot you buried. Social media platforms are a goldmine. People post their full names, birthdays, family members, vacation plans, and emotional states in real time. A hacker doesn't need to hack your account. They just need to look at your public profile. LinkedIn is particularly valuable. It's a professional directory of who works where, in what role, and who they know. There are scraping tools that can collect massive amounts of data in minutes, like a hyperactive intern who never gets tired. Visualization platforms like Maltego create a terrifying spiderweb diagram showing how everything is connected. Reverse image search can quickly link a supposedly anonymous Twitter account to a very public Facebook profile. Let me show you how this works with a hypothetical person we'll call GamerGuy2008. Our methodical hacker starts simple. Google the username. The results immediately show profiles on Twitch, Reddit, and an old photo bucket account. The Reddit history is a gold mine. Here, GamerGuy2008 asked for advice about his 2015 Honda Civic and complained about Wi-Fi at the Daily Grind in Austin, Texas. In the old photo bucket account, there's a graduation photo. The banner says, Congratulations, Northwood High Class of 2008. The username now makes perfect sense. A search for David Miller, Northwood High, and Austin leads to a Facebook profile. The profile picture matches, and he's holding a corgi named Waffles. The hacker now knows David's full name, date of birth, employer, job title, city, car, and dog's name. They can now construct a highly convincing phishing email pretending to be from his company's HR department, referencing his job title and even his Honda Civic. Because of these specific details, David is much more likely to click the link and enter his credentials. From a single gaming username, the hacker has the keys to his digital life. Even if you've locked down your profiles, there's a sneaky threat called metadata. Data about data that gets attached to nearly every file you create. Your phone's camera is a world-class informant, embedding your location into pictures unless you've specifically told it to stop. That innocent living room photo could contain the precise GPS coordinates of your couch. Someone could download your photo, use a free online tool to view the metadata, and pop those coordinates into Google Maps. Congratulations, you've just handed a complete stranger a map leading directly to your front door. Word documents, PDFs, and spreadsheets carry metadata, including author names, company registration info, and file paths revealing computer usernames. Your first mission is a personal digital audit. Google your name in quotation marks. Search for your common usernames. You might be horrified by what you find. Go through every social media account and set privacy settings to friends only or the most restrictive option available. This turns your life from a public billboard into a private conversation. Hide it all. This stops the bleeding. It's the digital equivalent of closing the blinds. Stop using the same username for everything. Your professional LinkedIn shouldn't share a username with your anonymous Reddit account where you argue about Star Wars prequels. Use different email addresses for different parts of your life. 
one for banking, another for social media, and a disposable one for sketchy websites. This makes it much harder to connect your online personas to your real-world identity. Go into your phone settings right now and turn off location access for your camera app. This stops GPS coordinates from being embedded in future photos. For future file sharing, use metadata stripping tools before uploading. Think of it as digitally wiping your fingerprints before leaving a room. It's an extra step, but a crucial one for maintaining your privacy. The next frontier is the shadowy world of data brokers, companies whose business model is collecting your personal information from countless sources and selling it to anyone willing to pay. They collect from public records, purchasing history, web browsing habits, and social media, then sell to marketers, political campaigns, and sometimes scammers. You can fight back by demanding these companies delete your data, but it's a tedious process involving hundreds of brokers. Services like Delete Me or Incogni will systematically contact these brokers on your behalf and manage the removal process. It's a subscription service for your privacy, and in today's world, it might be as essential as antivirus software. Think of it as hiring a digital bodyguard for your personal information. When registering website domains, your personal information is published in a public HOES database. Domain privacy services replace your details with generic contact information. For financial protection, use services that generate virtual single-use credit card numbers. You can create a unique card for every merchant with spending limits. It's like giving every merchant a different key that only opens one specific door instead of a master key to your entire financial life. Digital privacy isn't a one-time setup. It's a journey, a marathon. Like doing laundry, you're never really done. You just get to a point where things are clean for a while. New apps, data breaches, and social media platforms mean you have to stay vigilant. Perform regular privacy audits every few months. Companies love to update policies and reset your settings to be more public, so constant vigilance is required. Privacy is a team sport. Your security is only as strong as the weakest link in your social circle. Have those slightly awkward conversations. Ask friends not to tag you without permission. Help your parents understand oversharing risks. Creating a culture of privacy among your connections helps protect everyone. It's about building a collective wall of defense. The internet has changed what it means to have a private life, but you have the power to take back control. You can decide what you share and who you share it with. You are the curator of your own digital identity. You can be a ghost when you want anonymity and a public figure when you choose to be. Your digital life deserves the same protection as your physical safety. In an age where data is the most valuable currency, the richest person is the one who controls their own. Now go take control. You can do this. And for God's sake, change your password if it's your dog's name. Waffles deserves better.